Sunny team, it's your trainer Eloisa. Thank you so much for joining me for this 25 intermediate endurance run. We have a ton of treadmill workouts as well as body weight and other cardio workouts. So make sure you hit that bell and subscribe. We also have weekly updates, so you have a lot of things to keep you busy. But what are we doing today? Today we're gonna do a challenge inspired by David Goggins. If you don't know who he is, don't worry. I'm gonna give you a little insight. So we're gonna do a four by four by 48. What that means is we are gonna do four rounds of four minutes on and 48 seconds off. All right, team, before we get started, I wanna make sure you clip in. I didn't clip in, that's what I've got to remind you. And you have a water nearby as well as a towel. All right, ready? Let's get started. We are gonna start with a light walk. Take your incline to a two and walk between 1.5 and 2.5. Just to start warming up those calves, warming up those leg muscles. There we go. And incline to about a two. Walking heel to toe here, swinging your arms lightly. I want you to roll those shoulders up and down away from your ears. So as they come up, I want you to think to yourself, this is the last time my shoulders are coming to my ears because I'm dropping everything that doesn't serve me. Everything that's not in this room right now, I'm releasing it. And bring it forward. Your only goal right now is to stay present and commit to yourself. Keep it going. So shake all that out, shake all your nerves out. And I want you to take two deep breaths. I want you to inhale your power and exhale negativity. So I'm inhaling my power. You do the same. Inhale your power. Push out that negativity. Doesn't serve us. One more time, power. Peace out negativity. Now with that, take your incline up to a four and your speed up to a two slash three. Speed walk here, I don't want you at that jog yet. Really speed walk, use those arms. Right here we are gonna go over our arms and how they're gonna be going when we're running. Our arms move back to front, they don't move at the side and we don't hold them crunched tight to us. We also leave our fingers nice and loose. We want our muscles loose so we can use our energy somewhere else. So we can save our power for our run. Okay team? Keep it here with me just a few more minutes. Then we're gonna take that incline down to a two. And we're taking it down to a two in three, two, one. Take that incline down to a two. Take our speed down to a 1.5 slash 2.5. Cause we're gonna go over our feet right now. I want you to walk on those balls of your toes, really engaging your calf. calves. Standing up straight, tailbone down, bum down, engage those abs. Walk on those toes, feel all five toes on the ground. Try and spread them out a little bit. When you're running, I wanna make sure you feel all five toes on the ground. Okay team, really, really important. So keep it here for me for three, two, one. Take it down to a walk. Increase that speed, light jog. 4.0 to a 5.0, you are jogging right here. So when I said this is inspired by a David Goggins challenge, so the actual challenge is four miles every four hours for 48 hours. So you do a total of 48 hours. David Goggins is an ultra marathon, or he does a hundred mile marathons. He also has an amazing story. I'm gonna give you some details, but I do, honestly recommend listening to him tell a story because it is amazing. So our challenge is an endurance run too. An ultra marathon is an endurance, but ours is a little bit more of an intermediate challenge where his is a super advanced one. <laughs> All right, team, let's take it down to that walking one more time and get ready. You're gonna be four minutes on. I want your incline at a one, or a two, depending on how much you want to push it. This is four minutes. I want you to pick a speed you can stick to, but pick a speed that challenges you. Don't go soft on yourself. You've got to challenge you. You ready, team? This is for four minutes. 5.0 to 7.0. Ready? And 
Let's go. So I'm also reading, I read David Goggins' book, but I'm also reading The Alchemist. And in The Alchemist, it says you can be a victim of life or you can be an adventurer of life. And the reason I'm combining these two together is because David Goggins talks in his book how he could be a victim of life. He talks about how the hand he was dealt is pretty difficult, and I agree with him, but he decided to be an adventurer of life. He doesn't use those words, I just compared them because the alchemist really touched me in that. He went through Navy SEAL boot camp three times. When I read about Navy SEAL boot camp, I could have even done that once, but he committed to himself. He decided to make himself stronger. He talks about how he could have stayed in the same job and done nothing. He wasn't working out. He was working in pest control. And then he saw something that motivated him. He started running. He started getting in shape. At this time, he was worried he couldn't pass the test. He was reading. He committed to changing himself and to working on himself. So right now, I want you to commit to working on yourself, to changing yourself, to pushing through this, to staying for this four minutes, and to bringing your speed up. So if you were at that 5.0, take it to a 5.5. 6.0, You only grow if you push yourself, if you challenge yourself. But in order to do that, you have to be honest with yourself. I can't push you. I can't make you take that speed up. You have to do it, team. That is your number one job. You showed up right now, so your job is to challenge yourself. Even a little bit of challenge is challenge. A little bit of growth is growth. So grow with me here. Grow with me right now, and let's take it up by another 0.5. There we go. Also, team, aren't you so happy that our challenge is four minutes on, 48 seconds off, opposed to four miles, four hours off, four miles, four hours off. I am actually personally gonna try at the end of the month to do this challenge, but that's a lot of miles, 48 miles in 48 hours. Whew, that sounds like a challenge. So right now, since we're not doing all 48, I want you to take it up by 0.5. So his first two times, the reason, he actually passed nail seal training his second time. But the first time, it was because of pneumonia. The second time, I believe it was pneumonia too. Don't quote me on that. But the third time, he got through it. He went back and did it three times, which shows you sometimes you may not get what you want right, right away. Sometimes you might train. You might try and do everything. But the time, the time isn't right. So you have to continue. You have to get back up. Sometimes your journey requires a little bit more strength, a little bit more time to get on that timeline. But team, you commit to yourself today and you can continue committing to yourself in life, you will get there. You will get what you want. We have 10 more seconds here. Stay with me. Breathe into your nose, out through your mouth. Watch those arms back to front and take it down. We are on a water break. Take that water. Not a request, a requirement. Always drink your water. Big proponent, gotta hydrate your body, towel off if you need. We only have 20 seconds left. I know these are quick recoveries, but again, think about running four miles and then only having four hours off. When are you supposed to sleep? That's a lot of working out. So you have it easy. This is just intermediate. You got it, trust me. You can do this. All right, think about how you're gonna challenge yourself. I want you to try and start at your ending speed of last time. So wherever you were on that 5.0 to 7.0, that ending speed should be somewhere around a 6.0 and an 8.0, I feel. So let's start around there. Check in with your body. Land on that ball of your foot. Flick those heels towards your bum. Stack your body. Ears over shoulders, shoulders over hips. 
swing those arms back to front. And of course, always breathing. So another challenge that David Goggins won was he held the Guinness World Record for most pull-ups in 24 hours. He did 4,030 pull-ups in 17 hours. Now, of course, how everything goes, he failed his first two times. His first time was national TV. Good Morning America, everybody was there. They were watching him, eyes on him. And he failed, he talks about why he thinks he failed. But instead of giving up, he continued to make himself better. He pursued a stronger, better version of himself. A stronger, better version of yourself would push themselves a little bit more. Make this a little difficulter. You can do it. You got this. So, second time comes around. No cameras, nothing flashy. He found a gym, found friends, found people to support him, but he failed again because he got blisters. The third time, he questioned everything. He challenged the way he was doing it. He had a mattress company make his gloves to help with the grip. He fully invested in making this happen. He did research, he worked on himself, but he also worked on the things he needed to succeed. You have to do that research. You have to work on yourself as well as the things you need in order to succeed. And he made it. He did the 4,030 and in under 24 hours. So team, you can do anything. Anything you set your mind to, as long as you decide to change, you can do it. And the strongest thing you can do is decide again tomorrow that you want this change, that you want to keep going, that you want to get stronger, that you are going to work for it. And by working for it, we are taking that speed up. Really use those arms. This is where we could be getting tired. So use those arms. Help propel, propel your legs back to front. You got this team. You are so strong. You are so strong. I forget what he says in his book, but he said his first time running back, he could only run for like two minutes. And I think he had like three months to train for Navy SEAL. So team, if he can do that, you can commit to this. You can stay here with me. You only have one minute, one minute and then a water break. And then you're halfway done. That's half the battle. You know what? You can push yourself a little bit more. If you feel like you are carrying so much in life and you are stressed, don't ask to carry less. Ask for stronger shoulders. Ask to be stronger. Ask to be somebody's example. Because the other thing he talks about in his book is being an example for other members of his team. So you be the strong example. Get strong here with me and then be somebody that others Example. All right, team, you're gonna take it down in four, three, two, one. Again, water. Not a request. Here's to you. You're halfway done. Yay! I want you to breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth, and as you're doing that, check in with yourself. Check deep down in with yourself. Are you pushing yourself? Are you pushing yourself as hard as you can? If not, push yourself a little bit more. You can do it. If you honestly are, then great. Continue staying there. Continue to push yourself. That is your only job right now. If your legs are moving and you are giving it your all, you're doing your job. But if you're judging yourself, you are not. Do not judge this run. No, you're giving it your all, but don't judge yourself. Just know you can do it. Four minutes. We are going to start at that higher speed. Zero excuses. We do not make excuses. We commit and we stay present. Champ champions do not make excuses. They make edits. They make changes. They don't make excuses. 
No excuses right now. You can do this. You are capable. The world is not asking you if you are able. It's asking, are you available? Are you available for this challenge? Are you available to get stronger? Are you available to carry a little bit more? You know what, team? Yes, you are. You are available right now. You are available to push yourself. You're available to go a little bit harder in every aspect of your life. People do not get out of situations they like because they're too comfortable. They're too comfortable at a job. They might be miserable, but they're comfortable. That fear of challenging themselves and changing themselves holds them back from their true uh, heart's goal. Don't hold yourself back. You can't be afraid right now. You have to commit. You have to go faster. You've got to be somebody's example. Stay with me. The more you live your life goal, the more you are honest with yourself, the more you will be an example to other people, encouraging them to live their life's goal too. Because we all have something in our heart, in our soul, we are meant to do. But sometimes fear keeps us back. One other thing David Goggins talks about in his book is an accountability mirror. He has post-its all over his mirror that keep him accountable. It's not just affirmations that say you're good enough, you're great, it's things he knows he needs to work on. I think one of them was he had a challenge reading as a kid, so he would cheat. And so one of them on his was, you need to learn to read, learn to read. So he would work hard at that. You have to dig deep inside yourself and look at yourself. Where are you not holding yourself accountable? What could you give a little bit more? Can you give a little bit more right now? Can you push a little bit harder for this minute? I think you can. One minute, take it up. I think you can. Are there other aspects in your life you can give a little bit more? Is there a passion, a dream, something you want to pursue that you're too afraid to? Is there some way deep down you can look at your soul and push yourself and make yourself do it? Because it might not happen right away, but if you start today, it will happen. If you say you're gonna start someday, that someday may never come. It won't happen. Start today, start right now by pushing yourself. Because how you show up here, how you show up on this run is how you show up in life. So we are fully showing up on this run together. And for these last 30 seconds, give it your all. I want you breathless. Breathless means you can't say sentences like this. Breathless means completely out of breath. Give it your all. Check in with your body, chin parallel, shoulders down away from those ears, shoulders stacked over hips and that landing, don't be striking that heel. We are taking it down in three, two, one, woo! Let's walk team, take a water, breathe in. Cheers. Check in with your body, check in with yourself. Don't leave it surface level, dive deep. Check in, can you push a little bit more? Can you give it a little bit more? Are you breathless? Where can you push? Where can you make these last four minutes your best four minutes? Where can you compete a little bit more? Where can you make yourself a little bit stronger? If you need a towel off, like me, Towel off. <sighs> Two deep breaths, inhale. My power, exhale. Excuses, one more power. <sighs> Peace out, excuses. Four minutes on the clock, last four minutes. This is where we give it our all. Commit to this. This is a conscious effort. We are conscious in our running. We made this decision, we are consciously sticking with it. You are consciously breathing into your body. You are using your body. You are also thanking your body. Your body showed up for you. Your body is here. And stay breathing. So in his books, he also talks about 
defying odds with your mind and pushing through the pain sometimes. So he was running these 100 mile marathons, ultra marathons. And he later found out he had a hole in his heart and he shouldn't have been able to run at all. But because he committed and pushed, his body was able to do that. I think that's a miracle and beyond anything I can explain. But sometimes you commit to something and you push, you can defy odds. Anything that is hard for you, that you work hard at, I promise it'll be a hundred times better than anything that you don't have to work for. So let's push. Let's push to make ourselves stronger. Let's work for it. Take that speed up. You got this team. You are here. This is the end of your four by four by 48. Unless you wanna join me on the four miles every four hours for 48 hours. But right now, we are staying present. We are not thinking or worrying about the future. Right now, I could be worried about running four miles every four hours. But you know what? That's a down payment on a future that may never come. We don't need to be worried or anxious about the future. We need to stay present. We need to stay present because this present moment is where we get stronger. So get stronger, team. We're gonna do this together. Take that speed up. Summon your strength. Summon that strength we dug below the surface. We saw where we're holding ourselves back. You saw where you're holding yourself back. You kept yourself accountable during this run. run. So now summon that strength, summon that last bit of strength that you have to give it your all. I want you to give this 110%. Get stronger this last minute. Take that speed up. Four, three, two, one. Let's go. Right here. Everything you got, 110%. Don't fake it till you make it. I know people say fake it till you make it all the time. Nope, team. Grow until you make it. Challenge yourself. Get stronger. Grow until you make it. Right now, we are growing together. Right now, we are pushing together. Right now, you are becoming somebody's inspiration. Right now, you are making yourself stronger. Stay with me here. We are almost there. Breathe. Feel your strength. Feel your power. You are so powerful and you are growing. Keep it going. You're almost done. Less than 30 seconds. Less than 30 seconds. Use all your strength. Take it up. Breathe. Don't quit on yourself. Quitting on yourself doesn't hurt me. It doesn't hurt anybody else but you. You don't quit on you. You got this. You push because you are strong. Promise me you won't quit right now. You have four seconds. Three, two, one. Let's take it down. And walk it out. Whew. Really breathe into your body, into your nose, out through your mouth. Take water if you need it. Take those deep breaths. Your heart rate should be up and beating very fast, showing you you're fully alive, you're fully committed, you are fully strong right now. Take that speed down to about 1.5. Walk heel to toe. Really make sure your heel is hitting that treadmill now. If you need to take the speed down, do. I want you to feel this stretch in your calf. Breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth. Now bring those shoulders up again. Roll them back away from your ears. Walk normally. Really release any tension you built up during this run, which you shouldn't have because you released it all. You let it all go. You let anything go that was holding you back. Holding you back from committing to yourself, which is what you did right now and which is what you will continue to do. All right, let's take it down and up to those tippy toes again. Like I said, we are really stretching that calf muscle. We are breathing into our body. So at the end of this run, I said don't quit on yourself because you're only cheating yourself, which also means if you do fail, which we all will, don't blame others. Learn from your mistakes. Learn how to get stronger. 
learn how to be the victory part of you. And sometimes it takes extra work. Sometimes it takes extra push, but you got it. And let's stop our tread. Wait till it comes to a complete stop before we unclip. Take our heel to our bum. Like I mentioned at the beginning, we have a huge array of videos. I do not stretch enough in this video, so I wanna make sure you try one of those out as well. Let's switch it. Left leg, if you need to hold on to balance, go for it. But no hanging on for dear life. We don't need to do that. Stand up straight. We are gonna take two deep breaths. Inhale your power, exhale negativity. You got that power. Inhale that power. Bye negativity. And with power comes opportunity. You made this opportunity happen. Inhale that opportunity. Exhale negativity team. If you like this workout, make sure you hit that like button. I would also like to see in the comment section how you did on this version of the 4x4x48. Four by four by I would also like to see when you are joining me on the four miles every four hours for 48 hours team. And if you haven't yet, make sure you ring that bell and subscribe. Thank you so much team. I cannot wait to work out with you again sometime.